of 86,984.47 was paid as penalty for delayed payment of 17.5 SNET contribution for the period March 2005 to September 2014. Um, we are aware that yours is although a public institution but your fees are premium fees and your conditions are such that students don't have leeway so cash shouldn't be a problem what was a management challenge that resulted in the inability of the institution to pay SNED contributions between 2005 to 2014 and whether you consider the penalties as paid as a financial loss to the state. The fees we charge are market rate fees and not premium fees. But having said that, the explanation for the events that triggered that penalty were contained in the report. There had been some late recruitment and there had been some admitted uh, delays on our part. We've paid the penalty and we have been repentant and we have not made that uh, error, so to speak, since then. You do charge uh, market-based. Uh, your rates are not premium. But you are aware that such fees are supposed to come to Parliament. I just want to know whether or not these fees, as you've charged, in your words, they are standard. How were they ever approved by this August House? I must uh, consider that I don't readily recall whether the previous fees have been passed or cleared by Parliament. I could check that and let you know. But very recently we received directives to us, I believe to all tertiary institutions through the National Council for Tertiary Education. We've complied with them and we are mindful of these provisions and so should there be the need for any further adjustments, we will fall through the, follow the process. All the public universities, apart from a few, about three, have submitted and we have transmitted to the Ministry of Finance so that they can make it to special budget. The title dates are not presently in our possession. We are taking steps to obtain the title dates. Some discussions have taken place with the Lands Commission over the last year or two. Correspondence has been exchanged between us. A demand for payment has been made by Lands Commission. We have tendered the checks for that, and we are at the stage where the documents are being processed to be handed over to us. This but, is without prejudice to us asserting a prescription. We've been there since 1961. But that doesn't make it yours. I said this is without prejudice to that position which Gimpa still takes. Yeah, but... Um, Gimpa has been there for many years, so why is it that it's only last, uh, last two years that you started this whole process? The auditors then inquired about the documents. Custody of some of these documents seemed to be have, have been an issue. Uh, we didn't readily have them. They flagged it, and we also felt that it's actually important to do so. Having considered that we are taking steps for it and that it is important for us, we do not relent in our position that it is indeed our land. Gempa is a self-financing institution. We endeavor to raise our own funds. We try and run it along sound business lines. And our motto and catchphrase is, it is a center of excellence. Your operating expenses are mainly the direct cost of operations. And here we mean facilitation, uh, cost of the bags for facilitators, and other direct costs. And the reason why it is only 15% is that it is due to our cost management strategies that we put in place. We ensure that we budget well, ensure that things are not, that are not in budget are not paid for these are the issues that raise that 7.2 million sufferers. Because you recall, 
uh, if you look at the total income, there was an increase of about 12 million. And the 12 million is as a result of 10% increase in school fees. And that is the increase. But if you look at the total expenditure also, it is just 23% increase in total expenditure. Once we increase revenue by 34%, we increase uh, expenditure by 23%. So that accounted for the 7.2 million uh, Ghana CD. So it is due to our cost management strategies that we put in place. We've just seen uh, GIMPA increase 10% of their student fees, accumulate 12 million, and spend 5 million of that by increasing their expenditure by 23%. I don't think increasing the expenditure by 23% is any efficient way. So student fees will have to continually go up to maintain such expenditure overruns. And that's what me and you should examine uh, in doing their fees and charges, whether we are allowing charges to go to do expenditure. That's why I was shaking my head. It doesn't translate linearly that they are being efficient.